Cry 6 is one of the biggest upcoming games of 2021, and we now have quite a bit of information and footage available to dive into. Here are 10 things you need to know, presented by Far Cry 6. With Far Cry 6, Ubisoft is aiming for an HBO-level narrative, which is to say the game is aiming to tell a story on par with what we're getting from prestige television right now. Okay. To that end, they've spared no expense on acting talent, with brutal dictator and main villain Anton Castillo being portrayed by Giancarlo Esposito, best known for his turns as similarly powerful villains in Breaking Bad and The Mandalorian. His 13-year-old son Diego is played by Anthony Gonzalez, whom Pixar fans will remember as Miguel, the lead in Pixar's Coco. The game's intro sequence, which you're seeing right now, is made by Patrick Clare and the team at Antibody, who made the intro sequences for Westworld, The Man in a High Castle, Netflix's Daredevil, and True Detective. The slick production values are definitely beyond anything the Far Cry series has done previously. Perhaps the most contested area of Yara is the capital city of Esperanza. We glimpsed the skyline in the world premiere trailer, but we got our first really good look at the size and scope of the city in the new Far Cry 6 character trailer, introducing Danny Rojas. Esperanza is especially exciting because it's the first urban environment in a Far Cry game, offering intense, large-scale street combat like we've never seen before in the series. The city shows a lot of influence from modern-day Havana, the most obvious parallels being the sort of frozen-in-time aspect of the architecture and classic cars that populate the streets, a result of trade restrictions that control the people's access to modern technology. Far Cry 6 is set on the island nation of Yara in the heart of the Caribbean, and features the most expansive playground yet in the series. Yara is a tropical paradise, home to gorgeous beaches and lush jungles, environments that should be familiar to Far Cry fans. The citizens of Yara are divided on Castillo's rule. Some blindly follow the regime, while some yearn for an end to the sanctions that have kept the city from progressing technologically and economically. You'll find further parallels to Cuban culture all around Yara, like the Libertad Gorilla's fondness for playing dominoes, and we even see the player character light up what looks to be a Cuban cigar at one point. The Guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. You play as Danny Rojas, a local Yaren dedicating to overthrowing Castillo's tyrannical reign. The disillusioned Danny drops out of the military and joins up with Libertad, a revolutionary group conducting guerrilla operations to strike against the regime using everything from propaganda to sabotage to open combat. We saw the Viva Libertad slogan in the world premiere, but here we get to put some faces to the movement. Danny's allies in Libertad are a colorful cast of unforgettable characters. Danny's journey will force them to confront the darkness in themselves and invite inevitable comparisons to Castillo. It'll be a struggle for Danny to take revenge on Castillo without becoming what they hate. I am nothing like you. The Libertad guerrillas live by the Resolver philosophy, making what they need from what they have, inspired by the real-life resourcefulness of Cuban citizens who face similar resource shortages due to those decade-old trade restrictions. Libertad uses everyday objects to craft weapons and even vehicle modifications. Need a minigun for a major assault? Slap a motorcycle engine in there and mow down Castillo's goons to your heart content. In this quick shot of a weapons table, we see teases of several Resolver style items, including an intricate crossbow type thing and what appears to be some kind of makeshift railgun? We bet that'll burn through a lot of car batteries in a hurry. This is all, of course, speculation based on the footage from the new Far Cry 6 gameplay deep dive trailer, Rules of the Gorilla. We suggest you check it out yourself to see if you can catch something we missed. Danny can also use special customized demolition backpacks that have various capabilities, including flamethrowers, jetpacks, and homing missile launchers. Juan, the master of backpacks, will customize them for you with the goal of making Danny a one-man army. Considering the focus on DIY weapon construction, we have to wonder about other backpacks that may be available in the game. Perhaps Juan can whip up a full-on mortar launcher backpack that can suppress enemy armor, or one that has multiple miniguns strapped to it for a literal one-person army effect. We'd also like to see a backpack that helps in traversal, like one that can create custom zip lines and climb them to get you up on buildings or cliffs quickly. Similarly, the gorgeous vintage cars of Yara can be customized heavily with both cosmetic and functional add-ons to be sure you'll always have a ride ready for any situation. Car customizing also adheres to the Resolver concept, with the sources of many of the enhancements being plain to see. The turret on this car is protected by part of a scavenged metal barrel, for instance. The battering ram is scrap metal bolted to the front of the car, but as Libertad would no doubt agree, it doesn't have to be pretty to be effective. And what would a homemade combat vehicle be without a rocket boost for speed? Perhaps the most important thing you need to know, one of the improvised Resolver weapons in Far Cry 6 is a CD launcher that can play Macarena. 
How you get around Yara is up to you. Older players can take the paved main roads, hiding in plain sight. Danny will have the gift of gab to talk their way out of tight spots at checkpoints. Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente funded Maria's new face? Castillo's forces are deadly, but they can be fooled. If you prefer to keep out of view, there's a whole network of undercover pathways and trails used by the rebels in the Revolution of 67 that Danny can take advantage of for a more indirect travel solution. In that case, the myriad horses that populate the island might be a more efficient choice of locomotion. Speaking of which, Animal companions return in Far Cry 6 in the form of fangs for hire, with more personality than ever. Team up with Guapo, Juan's soldier-eating pet crocodile, to terrorize your enemies. With a sharp whistle, Guapo turns into a scaly homing missile of teeth and jaws. It seems like he'll be especially useful in areas with vegetation where enemies will never see him coming. Place him between you and danger and have him intercept enemies as they charge foolishly into tall grass. There's also the irresistibly adorable Chorizo, who can give you health back when you pet him. If you look closely, his cart is full of stuff like tape, ammo, magazines, and weapon parts, so it seems likely he'll be able to resupply Danny in a number of ways. While we don't expect Chorizo to be a frontline fighter like Guapo, it seems like he might be useful for distracting guards. He can use his charm to keep their attention on him, and will be sneaking past undetected. There are several other fangs for hire in the game, of course. We got a glimpse of one in the Ultimate Edition Steelbook, a colorful rooster whom we speculate may have formidable melee combat skills honed in fighting pits. The Ultimate Edition also includes a White Panther companion named Champagne, so clearly there is a wide variety to choose from. Finally, you should know when you can play it. Far Cry 6 is set for release on October 7th, 2021, and for more on Far Cry 6, check out IGN.com. Play it on the all-new Xbox.